I made a joke in my last video about my dog Beals being off getting in trouble. She was. You were, weren't you? You were being bad. Yes, you were. Anyways. Hi, YouTube. It's Lena, and I'm here today with my Pan That Palette update. Um, uh, this year, I am panning both the Tardis Pro To Go palette and this little mini sleek eyeshadow palette of When the Sun Goes Down. I am also rotating a palette each month to kind of give me a little bit more to play with. It did not go so well this month, and I think I know why now that I'm really thinking about it. But first, let's get into what I'm trying to finish. So, for my Tarte palette, here's what it looked like last month. And here we are today, and I think I wanted to f finish the left side of Hype, or the just the thinner side. And I didn't quite get there, but I did, I don't know how well you can see this, I did hit the side of the pan, which is still, you know, quite the feat. And that makes me very happy. Uh, if you'd like to get like a closer picture later, just stay tuned through the end. I do show you know, a month to month progress and all this. I did also manage to hit pan and dry. Well, the shade, the pan drive. Uh, both of these are actually a mixture of drive and styling and I wanted to re-hit pan on this side. I mostly use it in my brows, but I also wear it in my crease on occasion. Today, I actually wore a hype on the lid and crisp in the crease because I've been tr wanting to use it more and just have been kind of forgetting about it, its, its existence, but if I want to finish these two shades in the next six months, I really need to start using them. So for this, my goal is to once again finish at least half of Hype. I'm actually probably going to repress it soon just to make it a little easier to deal with because I'm having to kind of dig my brush into the sides and that's, you know, not good for your brush. So I didn't quite hit my goal on Hype, but I got pretty close and I did hit my goal on the pan of drive. So apparently somebody else had to join us. She was not happy sitting on the bed with my husband. As apparently she was constantly scratching him on the nose. I don't know what she thinks is going on out here, but she is with us as well. I think Mo is hiding in a different room now. Anyways, like I said, this one I worked on, I've tried to work on as well. It was not successful. I was trying to pan because I try to use up a shade a month. This shade right here, and as you can see, did not go anywhere. I have used it a few times. I used it today, but just did not work out. So next month, if I want to stay on track, I need to use up two. So I'm thinking not only do I want to keep working on that, I want to use up this gold shade right here. I know, I'm working on two different gold shades. This is probably going to go terribly. <sighs> but we shall see how that goes. Now, on to my palette of the month. I actually kept in my palette from the previous month. I did not use it once, and I think I know why now. If you don't know, this is the Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edit the Wants palette. It is huge, which I don't mind personally, but while it is, you know, somewhat colorful, it is definitely more neutral. I am panning a lot of shades that wouldn't be neutral in here, like I was panning a dark green, like Side Hustle. I have 50 shades of purple going on, so I have purple eyeshadows that I am using instead. So, lesson learned. Oh god, even Europa decided to join us. What? What? You can't see her, but she's literally like right here. So if you hear meowing, that's her. So lesson learned there for the palette. I'm going to go for a more colorful palette this time. This is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. I bought this off of Poshmark, but I honestly don't, other than a ding in one shade and a swatch of another, I don't think this was really used. I mean, I sanitized it when I got it anyway, just to be sure, but. Here are the shades in case you are unfamiliar with it. 
nice, bright, and colorful, which is exactly what I want right now, especially for summer. I figured a weekend festival palette. I'm not going to any festivals this summer, but I figured it would be great for July. So short and sweet, probably even shorter than I'm looking at the time right now because I'm gonna have to edit out quite a bit. But that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And make sure to stay through to the end to see the progression on my two palettes I'm trying to finish up. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye!